Hey everybody, welcome back to Kay's Corner. On part two of the Drama Bookshop episode, we will be doing an interview with Annie Chadwick, the creator of Up to Date Theatricals, Quotes and Coffee with Kay, and a special tour with Sean Barrier. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Chadwick. I'm an actress, singer, um, also the founder of Up to Date Theatricals, which is a service for actors here in New York City. I'm also a career coach, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. I um, am a singer. I went to, got a master's degree from Indiana University and then came straight here to New York. Well trained. But being from the South, I knew nothing about hustling in an environment like this. So I just learned by trial and error how to get out there, get an agent, how to introduce my talent. And it took me longer than I think I needed. And so I fell into this career coaching just by the fact that I was doing it for myself. So I do, this is the NYC agent directory. I also do the NYC casting director guide. I do the NYC personal manager guide, and I came out um, about nine months ago with On Stage, which gives you everything you need to uh, self-produce a project or be a part of self-producing uh, PR for a project you're in. Still, like the agent book will give you all the tri-state area agents that cover film, TV, theater, uh, commercials, voiceovers, commercial print, modeling. And it gives you a way to look through here and be real specific about where you want your career to go. Say you want uh, film and TV. So you're going to look through here and find the agents that that's their target area, that's their focus. And then those, that becomes your hit list of who you want to meet, who you want to approach to represent you. And the same thing with the casting director guy. The difference with the casting director, which I'm really excited about, the very first two pages in that guy, it gives all of the film, TV, Broadway shows, pilots, uh, new media, talk shows that are shooting in New York for like the next three to four months. It gives you the casting director and background if that's what you're interested in. And here again, if you, I advise people to pick like 10 shows, TV shows, that are uh, shooting here in New York. And then that gives you a list of 10 casting directors that you need to introduce your talent to, that you need to keep up with, uh, meet, uh, audition for them, uh, try and uh, reach out to them on why you're right for that show. So I hear that you have a class coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I sure can. I, for over eight years now, I've been a one-on-one -on -one career um, coach, and I've gotten people moving their career forward in every area, film, TV, Broadway, commercials, uh, to great success. Well, what I have started doing is I decided this year, let me do a class and see how that's going to work. And it's shocked me how good it was. It's four weeks, it's two and a half hours, and um, each actor, I limit it to six to seven performers. Uh, each person has their own uh, personal homework. But we first start out with targeting an area. Say, if you were in class, you would, we would maybe target film TV for you. So that's your targeted area. Then you're given specific homework. Um, it could be your reel needs to be edited. Your headshots need to be redone for film and TV, or your whole marketing tools are, are tweaked according to the area that you're working in. And then that homework um, each week, you have to come into the next class, get up in front of class, and it's one-on-one -on -one with me that the class gets to hear it. It does a lot. Um, it, it helps you to stand up in front of people, talk about your artistic self, talk about your goals. I think that's one thing actors need more work with. They think, oh, I can get up and talk about myself in an interview with an agent, but they're not specific. Uh, we also work on uh, stumbling blocks of what's keeping you back. Um, you, you know the homework, you know what you want to do, and then why didn't you do it this past week? So we, we do that in a very um, 
I, I want to say non-judgmental way, because we all do it. We all don't do the work. We all get frustrated. Or we, we just sabotage ourselves. So in a very friendly um, atmosphere, those issues are addressed. Also, it gives very specific tools of how to work every day. I think that's a real component that I make my clients commit to. One to two hours every day on your business, on your artistry. And that could be researching um, for a play you want to do, it could be researching for auditions, it could be reading on another inspirational book, anything. Two hours a day, you have to, uh, to be competitive in New York. The class, people shot forward in four weeks beyond their wildest dreams. Kaylin, thank you for asking me to be on your new blog. I think it's fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the wonderful Miss Annie Chadwick. Now we're going to get into Quotes and Coffee with Kay and the special tour by Sean Barrier. All right, so now it's time for Quotes and Coffee on Kay's Corner. Um, right now in my cup, I have something called matcha, which is a Japanese green tea, and it gives me so much life, so much life. I can't even tell you how much energy this stuff gives me. It's better than coffee, and I can't live without it. Yeah. Um, and today the quote is going to come from one of my favorite books, The Artist's Way, Every Day. Time is a primary concern in dealing with creative block. Most of us think, if only I had more time, then I would work. We have a fantasy that there is such a thing as good creative time, an idol of endless, seamless, time unfolding invitingly for us to frolic in creatively. No such bolts of limitless time exist for most of us. Our days are chopped into segments, and if we are to be creative, we must learn to use the limited time we have. I mean, if she is preaching, I mean, cause like, I can't tell you how many times I've said, I'm running out of time, there's not enough time in the day for me to get all that I wanna do done, and how all my artist friends feel the same way. But honestly, we have to change our perspective. Really look at our days and say, okay, what's my priority? What's the probabilities? Knock up the probabilities, and literally focus on what needs to be done, and do it. Like. We have the same 24 hours as Rihanna, Beyonce, uh, Viola Davis, everybody. So let's make use of our time and get it done. So this is what happened when I asked Sean, one of my favorite people in the world, to do a tour of the drama bookshop. <laughs> My name is Sean and I'm going to show you around the bookshop. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sean again. Um, How as, is as you might know, in 2011, the Drama Bookshop was um, gifted a earned 20 award for excellence in the theater. You can see it displayed over here above our mask collection. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to jump. These balloons can't hold me. <laughs> walk, through the, walk through the bookshop. Here are all our new books. Some of the best sellers. Over here, we have our acting section. Improv. Comedy. Spirituality and in, 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 in art. And a small puppetry section. Hamilton. Over here. One of my favorites. The musical history section. <laughs> and over here, our voice section. <laughs> over here we have all of our music books. If you're looking for jazz music, sorry guys, we don't have it, unless it's in a musical. We mostly carry musical scores, musical selection books, and 16 bar cuts. <laughs> Rapid speed! <laughs> we have our Greek, we have our Greek plays. We have our early English plays. This is our foreign section. We have African and Asian. One of my 
favorite sections is the kids section. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hey guys, I know Kaylin, Kaylin's gonna give you her favorite play. One of my favorite plays that has great monologues, great scenes, is a little play called The Boy Who Talked to Whales by Webster Smalley. A lot of the monologues sound like this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Kay's Corner and I will see you guys soon.